It's old the front page, a new book by Martin Keelty taking an historical story, giving them a tabloid spin. Here was the headline we played out earlier. Trust me. Let's find out what Trust Me was about. It's Martin Keelty. Good morning, Martin. How Good are you morning. doing? Not trust too bad, trust are you? Me was the headline. I'm fine, thanks. What, what's the story behind Trust Me? Uh, that is uh, 12... 1286 odds when there was no King of Scotland and Edward Longshanks of England who was at that time thought of as a friend of Scotland said, hey guys, trust me, I'll pick your new king and I'll look after you. That's it, trust me. Uh, One nil. Well done. <laughs> um, good idea for a book. I, I was saying, I, I was involved in a radio show that we used to do something very it similar to this. It was in my this. mind, it was in my yeah. mind. Um, I, mean, do you know, I think it must have been mid-90s when we did that as a long... Did you know this, the, the, the programme? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, Did you work in it, no? No, no, I was in newspapers at the time, which is where the love of newspapers joined with my love of history to come together to such an obvious idea that it's amazing <laughs> it took me 20 years to think it up. <laughs> and what, what I like is uh, all the different... You've, you've mocked up on the Scottish scribe all of the headlines and it, it doesn't look at all out of place, does it? It just looks like something you might see on a newsstand. Well, I spent 20 years doing that, so you know, uh-huh. a lot of the news pages you've ever seen in your life, you saw them because of me, so it's uh, two passions of mine coming together in something, as I say, is so obvious. Yes, that it's amazing it took me so long. Uh huh. There, there is. Look, look at that. We've got four here. Um, the Scottish Sky. Forgive me. I hope I'm going to try not to. The Russell Lee Real Newspaper Effect, it's it is, great, isn't right. it? Does that come with the book? Or is that uh, something that we've just... Only for the lucky few, but there has been such a, a good response that I might make them available. Uh-huh. People like to cool. feel that tabloid thing to this day, you know? Well, you've got the whole of history to look at, uh, so Martin. So what, why, why did you pick the stories you've picked? In the same way as you would put a real newspaper together, I made myself a wee list of a couple of hundred big Scottish history stories from three years. And the ones that jumped out of me as you can put a good headline with that, you can make it work as a page, are the ones I picked. But uh-huh. there are many more to pick. And the best bit about the book so far is everyone I've spoken to about it comes up with their own one that they yes. would like me to do for the next edition. So uh-huh. there's plenty more to come, which is great. And uh, of course, then you've got other countries that you can go and look at, should it, should it all take off? We've been talking about the Saxon scribe the other day, uh-huh. south of England, the Irish scribe, the Welsh scribe. It could go global, right? And uh, how far back did you go? Uh, to What's write the very first story, eighty four AD, when the Scots were allegedly vanquished by the Roman army. Allegedly, you allegedly. Say? Well, the the battle may not have happened. Uh, nobody knows for certain. So the headline I chose with was "Show us the body." The mm-hmm. Romans say they defeated the Scots leader, but there was no body. So y- you've got to think about it as well. If a newspaper had really been around, how would they have treated it? And uh-huh. of course. Uh, then Scotland was the victim of an invading army, so an editor would have to be very careful in case the Romans came chapping his office door the next morning to take his head off. Right. So you have to be a wee bit careful. Interesting. Bill was just saying about the, the gift that keeps on giving on, on newspaper headlines for uh, anything that's to do with penguins now is, uh, is something you know along the lines of happy feet, snappy feet, clappy feet. Uh, so yes, no penguin stories in the in the Scottish scribe though. We've got a, a few other headlines that we can play out, and you can fill us in in the story. Thanks. <laughs> well done to the production team for this. Here's the first one. I don't think it'll be too tough. Loch Ness Miracle. What is the Loch Ness Miracle? Ah, well, that was St. Columba. The Loch Ness Monster has been listed through history for literally thousands of years. St. Columba was marching around Scotland trying to convert people to Christianity, and the monster had been recently eaten folk. So St. Columba went to the front of the loch, hauled out the monster, told it never to eat anyone again and go away and never be seen again, and that's what the monster did, so they say. Right. Uh, Next one. Showbiz exclusive. Poet star in Slee Scandal. Ah, see, Robbie Burns, he was Scotland's first rock star and he, he played the field a wee bit. He was a bit of a manky wee man and if a newspaper had been around in those days, it would have been perfect tabloid fodder. So that's the story about Rabbi getting married to someone while he was engaged to someone else, uh-huh. the naughty boy. Yes, I know, and uh, Burns, uh, uh, and there, there is even some vagueness in the uh, in this statistic, but I think uh, 12 pregnancies by four different women. At the very least, uh, yeah. and I And, you know, just down in Burns' country, the, the scheme that was on TV recently, I think there was somebody on that that had four pregnancies by 12 different women. <laughs> good effort, mate. Um, d- would it be fair to say that the things that made good headlines uh, you know, now would make good headlines at any point in history? Well, I'm a big fan of the, the tabloid format. I mean, sadly, it's been very much misaligned in recent years, uh-huh. badly used, I think, by a lot of journalists, which is a shame for everyone. But, yeah, the principles are still the same. Something that is snappy, attractive, and makes you think, you know, it jumps off the newsstand at you. What's that about? I want to read it then deliver a little bit more information in the, the sub-deck. 
and then get a couple of paragraphs of the main story in the front and make it look dynamic and punchy. That that's never changed and hopefully never will. And then what what is it called? I mean, the, you get the headline and then you might get a, a you know half a dozen or a dozen words underneath. What is that called? That's just the intro. The intro. Right. We call it the, the big story in the front page is normally called the splash. So you've got a splash headline sub deck and then the splash intro okay. and what you're trying to do is get people to physically pick up the paper and turn the page and that's a sale and, and they're in here's the next headline coming up then we've got this one Cats Away now Cats Away needs a bit of explanation <laughs> because when I saw the, the, the intro underneath I, I knew what the story was that was coming up which is uh, about somebody surviving on a, a desert island for that's right it's Alexander Alex. Sepp yeah. Alexander Selkirk, who became Robinson, Robinson Crusoe, Crusoe of mythical yeah. fame. But, but what's the cats? C A T Z. What's the cats? Well, it's cats because uh, he survived on the island with the help of wild cats who chased rats away so that he could build himself a home. So, again, you see what I've done there. It's a silly headline. You look twice mm -hmm. and go, What's that about? There's a big picture of a cat. What on earth's that about? Mm -hmm. And by the time I've got you reading the intro, hopefully you've spent your groat or whatever <laughs> to buy the paper. Okay, let's do one more then. One more headline. No ball games. King James II banned football and golf because he said uh, too many people were wasting their time playing ball games when they should be doing archery practice to defend the country in times of war. And in fact, it was totally ignored. I think two more kings, I think football and golf were banned twice again within the following 80 years because uh -huh. people just ignored them. Do you imagine the Royals getting involved in trying to ban football and golf? But that was the thing back in those days, you know, again, an editor of a newspaper would have to be very careful because they just take your head off if they didn't like what you published. Yeah. Uh, it's out now, 2,000 years of Scotland's headlines. Indeed, martinkeelty.com, oldthefrontpage.com, and it will be in bookshops very soon, so make sure you ask for it. Thanks very much for coming in, Martin. Good Cheers. to see you. Uh, great idea, Old The Front Page, and it may, uh, the Scottish scribe, uh, the Caledonian scribe, and uh, as he says, you might see the Saxon one south of the border another time. Thanks very much for coming in. It's just coming up for 20 minutes past 11.